with a very special guest today in the S&J Today studios. I'm joined by David Hughes, who is the CFO of Shore Medical Center. David, first of all, thank you so much for joining us today. Uh, thank you for having me. So a lot of new things, new year, new things going on with yes. Shore Medical. You have two construction projects in particular going on in South Jersey. Mm -hmm. Tell me a little bit about those. Sure, you know, at Shore Medical Center, we're very proud to be part of the Atlantic County economy and helping it, especially in this time, in this time of year. We have over 75 hardworking construction workers working right now in two projects. The one is in Summers Point, we have a medical office building, and Penn is building out the entire third floor, and that's going to be populated by Penn physicians. So besides the construction jobs that we're creating, we're going to have Penn physicians down here. So what are we talking about here with the numbers of mm -hmm. new jobs that are being created? Sure, right now there's 75 construction jobs going on, high paying jobs right now and they're all union jobs. So these are very well paying and a lot of local people put at work throughout the county. Uh, when we have the physicians come down, we'll have the physicians. We'll also have still have support staff. So you're looking at probably 25 jobs, created permanent jobs, and these are very well paying jobs as well. Besides the medical office building at Summers Point, we also have an imaging center opening up in Northfield as well. So what does this mean for the community? You're bringing in jobs, mm -hmm. but what about the, the medical services? The medical services are great. What I have to say is Philadelphia got a whole lot closer to the Jersey Shore. As you know, everybody goes to the Jersey Shore. At least most people go to the Jersey Shore in this area. And now when they're at the shore, besides coming down, they'll be able to see whatever services that they need. They'll have that available to them, as well as the local having access to services they can't quite get to. Maybe they can't make it into Philadelphia. Um, in our imaging center in, in Northfield, where our urgent care is and physician office, that's a full facility now, and that's going to be state-of-the-art. Um, we did a deal with General Electric, the first of its kind ever done by General Electric. They financed the entire project. You know, sure, Medical Center, like everyone else, we're seeing cuts in charity care um, and difficulties in the economy uh, with people losing their insurance. We were able to find strategic partners to fund both these projects, and GE is a great partner and funded the entire project for our state-of-the-art imaging center. Wow, very exciting things yes. going on. When can we look forward to these things being open? They're all going to be open the first quarter of 2016. Construction is well underway. Um, equipment is already being put in um, by General Electric in our Northfield location. And our medical office building will start putting physicians down. They'll phase them in. They'll start phasing them in in March. You heard mm -hmm. it here first. So you guys can look forward to all of those mm -hmm. new facilities opening first thing in 2016. Thank you very much. All right, and coming up next, stay tuned mm -hmm. because we've got weather with Nor'easter Nick. Good. Okay.